we are walking into the campus from the main entrance and we see the many flags Palestine and many tents so recently activists living here speaking the injustice of the Israeli but I don't know who is wrong it's hard to pick one just one yeah so here's the convocation hall and the front it was the largest field in this campus but now here's occupied by the activists many messages at the fence arms embargo now so here's the main theme so the war is happening on the other side of the earth Arabonga, Arab or Gersin and Salam. Can't the age of Pujo? Can I get inside? Um, have you been here before? Oh, no, it's first time. So, first time? Yeah. And what brings you, what's your interest in the, in the camp? So the war is happening now, so yeah. I want to know more about that. Yeah. Well, I can take you to the onboarding desk, and then oh, they yeah. can tell you about what happens here, uh -huh. and the kind of the rules of the space. Um, and then you can go from there, okay? okay. So this is the camp for this person here. Oh yeah. And they'll let you know about what the, what, um, what's happening. Hey. Hello. Is it your first time here? Yeah, right. Like, okay, we have a few ground rules before we come inside. Uh -huh. uh, the first being that we all believe in the, um, the law bit, which is written right here, but I'll say it out loud anyways. That's the four Palestinian principles of liberation, as the Palestinians have the right to return back to their homeland, they have the right to resistance, self-determination, and that Jerusalem is the capital of Palestine. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Yep, okay. And then what we're trying to do for the university specifically is get them to disclose all their investments. Currently, they're only disclosing 30%. We want all of it. Then we want them to divest the ones that are directly involved in Israeli apartheid. We know of at least one billion dollars going towards this, like directly. So, like, yeah. So there's donation system. No, not donations, not donations. It's investments. Investment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The companies that are, are being invested are like directly involved, like yeah. weapons manufacturing companies and shit. Like it's like not just like partially or like indirectly involved, like directly, directly. Yeah, so, it'd be helpful for the people who got injured in war. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Um, and then. Hello. Uh, we also want them to um, cut ties with Israeli universities on occupied Palestinian land. Uh, these universities also go against our um, student, not student, human rights guidelines and policies here at U of T. Um, one of these being that like they're doing AI research for drones to track oh. Palestinian men and where they most frequent um, to like, and then they add them to like a, a list and they like you they, they target them. At, yes, at yeah, the yeah. Place? I don't know. They're, they're, they're developing this right really now, they're developing it. U of T is helping to develop this. Helping who? They're helping one of the Israeli yeah, universities. Like it's, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, again, we don't know all of it. This is not, we yeah. only have 30% dis like, disclosure. Like, it's wrong if they help the war. Exactly, yeah. like, and they're actually benefiting from it. Because if the war keeps going, they can keep funding their you know, research. People, yeah. everyone's doing their own. <laughs> See, yeah. Like, I mean, we're all there's a reason they're not they're not giving it to our demands. Like, even though year, our yeah. demands are like written in their policies already, all they have to do is just follow their own policies. It's not yeah. that hard. They are refusing to do it because they are making money from the war. Uh -huh. And if they, like, divest, that's, like, admitting that, like... Yeah, the money's matter. Yeah, seriously, seriously. And then, yeah. Um, oh yeah, some rules for inside the encampment. The photos uh -huh. people's faces, tattoos, anything could be used to identify. Photos of, like, artwork and, like, signs, that's all good. Yeah. Um, well, we have like a yeah. memorial flower thing in the middle right now. That's like, if you want to go pay your respects, you're like one month to do that. Um, and then there's an indigenous sacred fire in the back corner. Um, it is currently resting, but it's still a sacred space, so it has no photos taken there either. Um, and then we have a zero hate speech. Uh, tolerance policy. Yeah. So if you see so, anyone being yeah. hateful, please let us know and we'll take them. I mean, yeah. what can you Don't worry, I'm full of respect. Yeah. Just like yeah, if you like, see anything, like just like let someone know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're so good. Enjoy wandering around. See? 
there are many kind of tent. Yeah. And one of them doing interview now. Yeah. So anyhow I got inside. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. So glad that you. You're really a good. So glad to hear that. I have Enjoy one the rest question. Of you. Yeah. yeah. So, so most of them inside in there are the students. Yeah. Uh -huh. Majority students. Yeah. And they care their family in their hometown. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah they, it is. They kind of have made a new family here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a really nice way of saying it. <laughs> Okay, see you guys. Yeah, me too. Take care. Take care. It was pretty nice experience. You should see the demos activists do from the Palestine. Peaceful the Palestines. <laughs> 